guys, Joe here with Fence Pro Solutions, and today we're going to talk about stress. So this is not a common topic, especially for this industry, uh, since most of it's made up of guys and we don't talk about how we feel. Um, but obviously there's a lot of stress going on and I kind of just want to discuss a few ways where, you know, um, things that have helped me and hopefully can help you as well. You know, as an owner of a fence company, you're probably going through a wide range of emotions throughout the year. You know, spring and summer, you are, you know, floor to the metal, um, where you're just nonstop. You, some of you guys might be working 60, 80, you know, 90 hours a week and it's just never ending. Um, but you don't mind because you just got off the winter time where you're stressed about not having enough work, not enough money, worrying about paying bills and that kind of stuff. And then, you know, the only decent time it seems like is the fall, but that usually seems pretty short. But the bad time about the fall, and this used to be me in, you know, come October, you know, especially Halloween, you know, it starts really slowing down and you're not booking as many jobs because not as many people are calling and then you're like oh shit i'm am i gonna make it through the winter time and for me you know in the first few years it didn't really matter that much when i got slow because i was working another job you know i was doing on this on the side i was just trying to earn extra income but then as you get bigger then you know you quit your day job you hire employees so not only are you worried about obviously your own financial security you know making sure that you can pay the bills and feed the family and stuff like that but now you have your employees to worry about as well and you know you have to be their first line of defense like you have to worry about you know how are they going to pay their bills obviously and that's you know you're not going to be their accountant but you're there to give them a steady check as steady as you possibly can um, because they know at the end of the day, like if you, if they know you have their back, they're going to have yours. So, you know, when I used to install, um, the stress didn't seem as bad. And the reason for that is, you know, you're constantly busy. But now what I'm finding, because I'm only working a few hours a week, like literally three to five of that on the fence company, is... You know, when you're slow, that's when your mind starts being able to wander. Um, that's when it's able to really start thinking about like stuff that really doesn't matter, things that are, you know, not even happening yet, but it's kind of, it's just in your mind. So I would actually get more stressed out in the, you know, when I wasn't working as many hours because I had time to think about it. So um, what I did and it's been a past year and a half where I really made a lot of changes to my life. Um, you know, last year was when we went from 520 grand to about 1.2 million in a single year. Um, I was working crazy hours. I was stressed out all the time. Um, but I was used to working that many hours. I always have. I use always minimum of 40 when I first started working at, you know, age um, you know, by the time I was 18, but typically I'm, I'm used to working 60 to 80 hours a week. So that doesn't really bother me. Um, but what, what I was noticing is I'm still working all these hours. Everything's starting to go my way, but then I'm getting pissed off for stupid stuff. Um, you know, I still remember it. I was uh, in the warehouse and I got this phone call and it was just something stupid from one of my guys. And it got me so upset that I almost... Um, or I had a tape measure in my hand, so I chucked that as hard as I could. And then after that, I was still pissed off. So I'm like, I had my phone in my hand, so I almost threw that. And then I didn't throw it, luckily. But um, then like two minutes later, I got another phone call. Again, nothing major, but just stupid stuff. At that point, I really wanted to throw my phone, but I didn't. So I stopped myself. But then I almost snapped it in half which for me, that's just not normal. I'm usually pretty even. I can, I can hide my emotions. Like you, like you probably tell in these videos, like I'm not a super high or low person. I'm usually pretty even most of the time. Uh, so after I almost snapped myself in a half, I basically had to sit myself on, um, on the uh, steps out the back of the warehouse. And I had to sit there for like five minutes, like kind of talking myself down, like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you shouldn't feel like this. Something's got to give. 
you know, you just got to try something different. So that's what kind of started my journey. And then besides the that, you know, it was memory as well. Um, my memory's always been bad, but it was constantly getting worse. Um, I had a, at the time when I was working um, at the day job, I had my supervisor ask me how old my son was. It took a good 30 seconds, maybe a minute to figure, uh, like to get his birthday. But I got the year wrong still. Like it was, it was really embarrassing and I just, I, I don't know, it's always been bad, but it just seemed like it was getting worse. Um, so enough about me. I'm going to kind of go over what I do and what's helped me tremendously. Um, and this is after about a year and a half. So the first thing I would definitely suggest doing is waking up earlier. Now I know a lot of you guys are working a ton of hours. You're coming home, you know, eight, nine o'clock at night. And then you have to still, you know, do quotes, eat dinner, like that kind of stuff. Um, but you got to try to get to bed earlier. Um, so that way you can wake up earlier. The reason why I wake up earlier is because if you wake up just in enough time to basically roll out of bed, get dressed, hopefully eat something, and then go to work, and you know, you're just running around trying to you know, do that, it sets your day off in the wrong way. Um, you want to set your day where it starts nice and calm, methodical, and it'll, you know, it'll, it will help you. Um, so typically now I wake up at 515 every day. Um, soon that'll probably be um, even earlier just because I don't feel like I'm getting enough done in the morning. And that's before my wife and son get up. So they typically get up around 6, 630. Um, so I'll probably get up at like 5. I used to get up at 430 um, just so I can get enough stuff done in the morning. So what I typically do in the morning as soon as they get up is one, you don't want to touch your cell phone. I know that's going to be hard for some of you guys, most everyone at this point, but you don't touch your cell phone for the first hour that you're up. Um, there's a lot, I'm not going to get completely into it, but there's just a lot of things that, you know, if you use your cell phone right away, it just sets yourself in a, in a bad direction. Um, not only that, you know, if you get these emails or voicemails or whatever else about a problem with a fence install or employees calling out, whatever it may be, it just doesn't get your day in the right you know, it's not set up for success. Um, so what I do after waking up early is typically I get my um, coffee situated. I'll take my um, some of my vitamins that um, that I take first thing in the morning. And then after that, I actually meditate. Um, and that doesn't have to be long. It could be as short as five minutes. Um, typically, you want to start out slow and then work your way up. There's plenty of videos on YouTube, which I'll link uh, to some in there. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's just meditation. You can be quiet. Um, the thing is, if you're going to do it without any music or anything like that, the key is like your mind's always going to wander. It, the main goal of the meditation is to realize that your mind has wandered and kind of get it back. Um, it helps to focus on your breathing and, uh, you know, start with, you know, even two minutes. Um, typically, I go for about 15 minutes in the morning, um, sometimes depending on these different um affirmations that I do, I, it'll end up being closer to 25 minutes or a half hour. Um, and then after that, I do the uh, Wim Hof breathing. Not so much for the mental, um, and it might be for the mental as well, um, but it helps me wake up. Uh, if you're not familiar with Wim Hof, um, it, like you should seriously look him up. He's awesome. Uh, it just basically, I start looking at him because of how cold I get. Um, so it's a whole cold showers and stuff like that. But he's got a lot of uh, world records and everything else for it, so some crazy shit. So we check out that. Um, so that's the first thing in the morning. And then after that, what I'll get to is I have to move more often. Um, so because I'm not installing anymore. So what I'm typically doing is, you know, different stuff. Like I'm starting back up uh, yoga this week. Um, and then we're also do, um, so to get kind of prepped for that, I'm doing like two minute planks and like that kind of stuff. Um, and so, yeah, you just have to move whether it's going to the gym in your case, you're probably still installing. So you have that moving aspect in there. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is vitamins. So there's one that was super helpful for me. Uh, this is called L-theanine. Um, what you want to do is take this first thing in the morning when you wake up 
uh, before you eat anything. And basically what this is, is it's an amino acid um, and then it will help you um, be more calm and then it'll help you be able to focus a little bit more as well. So um, a lot of people that are depressed or have anxiety actually take this instead of prescribed medicines um, just because it's more natural. And, you know, a lot of people are trying to get away from the pharmaceuticals. So we try L-theanine. Um, the next thing is fish oil. Um, so this is good for your brain, but there's been studies that it's good for your mood as well. Um, there's all different grades of fish oil. Um, I used to take the cheap stuff that you would find at like Sam's Club and BJ's. Um, I forget the brand of it now, um, but we found this through a functional doctor. And this, it contains like three times the amount of the uh, DHA and EPA, which are the main things you're looking for in fish oil, and uh, with the same size pill. So, and it's just a higher quality. Because uh, things you have to worry about is if it, you're using a lower quality product, there's a chance that the uh, oil could be bad, um, you know, if it's super old and it'll be oxidized. So instead of helping you out, it'll actually be damaging your, your body instead. And um, the other one is, um, it's vitamin D is uh, crucial, especially in the wintertime. So um, for someone like me that's not outside all the time anymore, uh, you know, I'm lacking in vitamin D. Um, the key thing with vitamin D, if you're going to take the extra, extra supplement, which I highly suggest, is you really need to get vitamin K in there as well. Um, and you want to take them at the same time. The reason why is because the vitamin K helps you absorb the vitamin D. Um, same thing like anything else, you can go with cheaper vitamins, um, but the higher you, you know, you can go with better quality. Um, you know, I also do take a multivitamin and I can post a link in there for that as well. It is expensive, um, but I've noticed a difference. So, you know, if it's going to cost me a hundred bucks a month in vitamins, at this point it might be more. I don't really care. Um, so that's it for that. And then, oh, you know what? I'll mention two other ones that I'm actually taking right now. So the next one, it's more for anti-aging, but it might help. It helps with energy levels as well. And that's NMN. So N is a Nancy, M is a Mary, N is a Nancy. Um, I forget the exact how to say the word, but um, basically this will help you. Um, it's supposed to help you live longer. And then, uh, like I said, it helps with the energy levels as well. And then the other thing I'm taking right now is Reservatol. Same thing, it's more for um, anti-aging. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but there's um, this guy that's been working on it for like 20 years now. So it's um, I'm curious to see what the results are, but um, the results look really promising. So that's really about it. Um, it's pretty much, you know, start your day off right. So you wanna wake up earlier. Um, meditation really helps and the breathing from Wim Hof helps. And then the, the vitamins, you know, if you're not getting enough vitamin D, um, there's all sorts of issues that you can have without it. And most of us are um, deficient in it. Um, yes, you get it from the sun, but a lot of times, like even if you're driving in, a, in your car, you know, everything has a, um, the filters in the windows and, you know, whether it's in your car or your house, where it will block the, um, the, um, Oh my God, losing it. So it, it blocks the uh, sun rays. So um, a lot of the times you're gonna be deficient in the vitamin D um, and that helps with um, just a whole span of things. It really helps with your immune system. It helps with your um, your mental well-being. Um, and actually, if you don't have enough vitamin D, I noticed this for myself is I was starving all the time. Turned out it was my vitamin D levels. As soon as I started increasing that, the, the hunger level went away. So that's all I have for today on this. Um, what you'll see in the future is, actually I'll put in the link in the description, hopefully I remember, um, but there's all different videos that you um, should probably check out. They've helped me greatly um, and they can probably help you as well. So, all right, uh, thanks, have a great day and um, you know, have a profitable season, thanks.